Hi all. Okay, let's do a group of five rated puzzles. Let's click on this. So this is on chessboard.net. If you go to the play menu, uh, the rated puzzles page on the play menu. Okay. So white to play. This looks like a key forcing move to consider as rook takes f8. After that check. And wherever the king moves, well, if the king moves there, rook e8. If the king moves to g7, check, king here, knight g4 check, king h5. Then what? Hmm. So is it really rook takes f8? That's an interesting thing. Uh, takes check king g7 check king g4 what about g4 there I'm gonna go with this as a first try okay and this one looks logical uh, there's no knight h5 or knight e8 knight d7 falls both rooks but past pawn here it's gonna win potentially for black so I'm going to go for this, trying to go for the mate. Okay, that is the case. Now, knight g4, king h5. There's bishop f3 there, which sets up something, surely. If it's not knight g4, I don't know really. g4, hang on, g4. While the knight's on f6, it protects h5 against the king h5. g4, f g5, fg, I think g4. There's bishop g4, but then we can just take here and take the rook. So I think g4 looks really good actually. Ah, that was the move, I think. And which is stronger, g5 or taking here? Or just h4 for g5? h4 looks good. <laughs> Even better. Because there's this past pawn potential to deal with. I don't know if taking c3. <laughs> What about just h4? There's checking f2. This g5 looks looks really good. I think h4 here. It's not the move. Um, I'm just taking. Oh, it is that. Okay. And now what? Hmm. Anything neat here? Well, there's check and knight d6. Should we try this? It's on the move. King here to have h4 because the bishop's pinned. Nope. Knight d7. What's wrong with knight d7? Ah, okay. That will get rid of. Uh, yeah, that that does seem crushing. <laughs> okay, so that was in Goodman. Uh, can it chew? So uh, let's try it. Another one. Um. <clears throat> So white to play, um, check, king f6, there's queen g7 there, king g5, there's f4 there. If king h5, maybe rook eight, queen h7. Anyway, I think the first move looks as though, instead of trying to visualize the whole thing, I guess it's cheating to just do the first move interactively. All right, actually there's queen h4 here simply. If g5 queen here, if the king goes to e5, there's f4. I think queen h4, g5, queen h6, king e5, there's queen g7 there. Okay, so I think queen h4 actually. Right, so this, I think there's queen g7. Okay, let's go again. So now it looks as though the queen wants to be on h6. I'm wondering about bishop h, bishop here, attacking the queen because then there's knight g6 and queen h6. So bishop a7 looks just to get rid of the bishop as a line, but yeah, it's not a liability, but it's stopping queen h6. That bishop stopping here, so I think bishop a, a7. Okay, so knight g6 looks fairly clear cut. Okay, so 
Okay, so that was in the show at Maya. Black to play. It looks as though the back row mate is stopped with rook half one. There's no queen d4 or anything. The rook d6 takes queen e1. Queen d6. I think mean, rook d6. There's a back row here. There isn't. It's queen c8. Mm -hmm. So taking here is mate time. Uh, well, 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 what is going on here? Queen B1, Rook F1, Rook D1. Hmm. Not sure I see it at the moment. Rook D1, Rook F1. In that position, Queen B1. I mean, there's always a check over here. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Hang on a sec. Rook A8? Is that outrageous? Where does the Queen go? Queen. Saying it was the B5 check. Rook F1. Hmm. Right, time to start guessing. Uh, just to rule out Rook D1. Sensi check. It's not Rook D1. Surely it's not Rook A8. No. Oh, I've just seen something horrible and silly. It's about F1, isn't it? Not allowing coordination in F1. Oh, I think I've seen it. Can you guys see it? I think I've seen it. It's a nasty move for Black, even though he's a bishop down. But um, I think this is it. If I give you 10 seconds, you might want to pause the video. I think I've spotted it myself now. Okay, I'm going to show you. I think it's this, just to get rid of the F1 coordination. Yeah. Okay, let's get the back row. What a brilliant move. Eldon Nielsen. So just one more. This will be the fifth, I think. So, well, I think F8, double check, taking rook F7. It's too easy, this one. <laughs> I can't see anything else apart from that. Yeah, that was so easy. Let's do another one. Just one more. Need some struggle sometimes. Okay. Hmm. So now this this does look a little bit more tricky. Uh, what is going on here? Bishop G6, Bishop G6, Rook D5. Those are these checks and stuff. What about putting the Queen on F8? That reminds me of a puzzle a few days back where there's no checks in sight for Black, and maybe White can just play Bishop G6. Then, yeah, I think so for Rook E5. That looks as though the Queen's tied down. I think I'm going to tie down the Queen. It's not the move. <laughs> okay. It's not the move. Um, oh, I think I've spotted something interesting. Uh, although there is black, it's not without resources. Ah, oh, no, 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 it's too easy. <laughs> oh, Muppets. No, I think I've seen it. I think I've seen it. Have you guys seen it? So you can't let black uh, a chance to do anything, really. This is the beauty of forcing moves. Um, it's easy to calculate, but you also you, you can't let the opponent be resourceful, usefully resourceful. And there's a move here which just doesn't give Black a chance. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's easy now that I've seen it. <laughs> oh dear, I was looking at this pawn, thinking it was important. Have you guys seen it? I'm going to do it. Rook H6 because of this check here. It's a killer check. 
okay yeah I hope um, you guys got some of those quicker than me and yeah this is interesting training throughout the summer for the uh, I've only got one over the board game coming up in a few days and uh, maybe it's good training um, as well as the uh, blitz a little bit but uh, this is f for finding accurate moves I think this is good okay comments or questions on YouTube and you can try this resource on the play rate puzzles I'll put a link on the right of the video as well thanks very much